How's it going everybody? My name is Josh. I'm your host for my travel page, Travel Down to Dusk. I created this page to help share some of my travel tips with everyone. A lot of people always ask me for advice for, on how to plan a trip or they've asked me to plan trips for them. And I figured, you know, why don't I start creating a page to share some of those tips and the processes that I use when I go about planning a trip. Now, as always, I reiterate, I'm not a travel expert. In fact, I'm more of an amateur travel that travels on my free time. So if you see things that you do differently or that can be improved upon, please share them with me. I'm more than happy to try them out. I love uh, learning new things. I love trying new things. So always open to different ideas. Today, I'll be covering the final step in my travel planning process, step six. And it's really not necessarily as, as you know, a step in the process. It's more of just something I do when I travel. It's covering food, uh, how I use the Yelp app, how I found good places to eat. Now you can use this in your travel planning process, like the last step where you have everything kind of figured out and then you want to find a good option of different food spots or food places that you want to try when you're traveling somewhere. A lot of times I'll do this on the fly, but sometimes I'll take a look at things in advance to see if a different area or a different part of the world has a certain cuisine that I might want to try or if there's certain restaurants that I have to try that are listed on blogs. I'll cover all this in this video, but uh, just to kind of uh, give you a heads up on what this video is going to be about, it's, it's mainly my last step in tra uh, traveling, picking out places to eat or what type of foods to try. So without further ado, I'm going to flip my screen over, share my computer and walk you through my process. When you're traveling somewhere. Now there's three ways to really go about it. I, albeit I'll say the main one that I use is Yelp. It's my fail safe. I use it locally, I use it abroad, I use it traveling literally anywhere. I get hungry, I'm in the mood for something, just go to Yelp, I'll find something like a burger or pizza or whatever I'm in the mood for, type it in there, and it'll show me a whole bunch of list of restaurants, highly rated, right around me. Now, that's more for on the fly, I'll be, you can probably use it in advance, I've done that too. If you're actually planning and you wanna find out what are good restaurants to use, what I would recommend using is Pinterest, you know, blogs or Google. Now, just for example, we will keep using London. Say I want to find food spots in London, right? Just type in London, try to type in food. Now it's going to have 14 amazing street food on the market, brilliant places to eat in London. Love the use of brilliant in there. London's top 20 must eats, best London restaurants. So. You get the idea. So all these things are 13 London market or 13 best London markets for your bucket list. Alrighty, so you can see through here, you're gonna get a whole list of different foods, food places to eat. Uh, you can go ahead and click into one of these. Again, you gotta remember these are just people's opinions, uh, other bloggers where they want or where they went. But what you can, what you can really do is just kind of go through here, Borough Market. Uh, obviously one of the most famous markets in there in London. You got the Camden Market, also another great spot. I've been to both. Highly recommend. You got the Leather Lane Market. Haven't been there. Uh, so what's, what do you got? Greenwich, Greenwich Market, Yada, Partridge Food Market. So this is all markets. I think that was maybe in the title. But you get the idea um, for this one. Let's check out another one. London top 20 most must eats. All right, let's see. Might have a list of a similar. Okay, so this is more restaurant based. Peggy Portion, Yorkin, has the address, has a little bit about it. So this is a pretty good one. It's got pictures included. So I kind of like this one. I mean, it, this will probably give, give you a good idea of what you know, different food spots there are. This looks like it's all dessert type food. Does it mention it somewhere in the title? Most Instagramable places, typical, okay. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I like this one. It's another good way to go about it too, right? Uh, let's see, best restaurants in London. So basically what I'm getting at here is you go through a bunch of different blogs, see what people are listing, See what catches your eye, what seems like something you might want to try. See if, uh, see if there's a bunch of places or a bunch of different bloggers that list the same, like, the same place. Obviously that place is probably pretty good since everyone's going there. 
Um, but this just kind of gives you an idea in their perspective, their opinions on some of the places. This is just one way to go get, get, get some ideas. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's one of my po most popular uh, methods of finding places to eat. I think there's generally just you know better ways to go about it. I tip, like I said, I typically use Yelp. What you could also do is top places, you know, use Google's top places to eat in London and see what comes up. Uh, it's probably going to be blogs. There's probably going to be places that are Google reviewed. Timeout is a pretty good site. I like uh, Thrillist. TripAdvisor is going to have good spots too, but usually I like Thrillist. I don't see that one coming up. So let's go to Timeout London. Timeout's a pretty, pretty good food spot. So you're going to go through here. It's going to list some restaurants. You know, what's the deal? What's the price? Order this. If you are one of those people that are open to trying anything, uh, this is a great way to go because I like to try anything. If I don't really know what to get, I'll look at, say, order this, the pigskin ragu. Never had this before. If I went to Manteca, I'd probably order this pigskin ragu because I want to try something new. Obviously, it's what they recommend. Uh, Singberry, what do we got? This one's pretty cheap. We got the Moo Crop Special, twice fried, crispy pork belly with garlic and chili. Sounds delicious. We got quality wines. What do they got? Kick off the cook off with the Gildas. Tiny skewers of anchovy, olive, and pickled chili doused in decent oil. Huh. Never had one of those before. It sounds interesting. I'm not a big anchovy guy. So, but maybe, maybe. Oh, this is it. Oh, I don't know if I'd eat that, but alrighty. Um, so you get the idea. You can Google, Google, you know, maybe places to eat if you're going to somewhere. You can also look at what Google reviews. You got Archipelago, Bob Rickard Soho, Padella, Padella, however you spell it, Kiln. So this kind of has an idea of, you know, different places. Kind of gives you a layout within Google Maps of where everything is. Another great way to go about it. Top places to eat in London. I want to say Thrillist is one of the, yeah, right here. These usually has pretty good lists too. Um, you also want to make sure you look at the date and relevancy. This is old, so I don't know if I would use this. Thrillist stop. Maybe it doesn't work anymore. Maybe it's a outdated site. Anyways, I haven't used it in a while, but this is what used to be one of my go-to sites for food. Uh, like I said, I typically only use Yelp. This to me is one of the best food apps out there. So that's fine. Let's go to London. This is my go-to. Uh, this is usually what I always use for finding food, especially on the fly. I'll even use it for research. I don't use Pinterest and I don't really use Google all that often. Sometimes I will. But this is always my go-to. There's, there's a phone application too, but it can it literally can do it by location. So if you want to pick a different area, say you want to click into, you know, this area of London, redo search and map. It's gonna pull up all the top spots in this little area. You can zoom in. You can get even closer. Say you want to do it in this area now, like even more finite. Oh, oh, right, right there. Boom, all right there. So as you can see, pulls up wherever your location is. Uh, has based everything is based off reviews. It gives you kind of like the price range for each place. How many you know based off uh, how many people have been there, or not how many people have been there, but how many people have left their review for there. Uh, you can pick, kick, uh, you know, click into this. It'll give you photos of the place, either the person who left the review left or, you know, the place who owns it left photos on their page. So it gives you an idea of what the place looks like, what food's there. You can look at the menu. I typically go for a fairly high volume of people and that are highly rated. So at least typically a four or above with about 20 to 30 people have been there. So like this is a, to me, is a, is a pretty good one. Nine, not, I don't want to say it could be pretty good. Most people say it's, a, it's good, but it's only nine people. So, you, you know, how much can you really trust that? Six, again, low. 
it's also you know outside of what I would typically go to. Not too many. So this one, perfect. Four and a half stars. Twenty nine people have been there. It's about what I'm looking for. Ideally, you want at least twenty to thirty. Best case is over a hundred. If you see like a thousand, that's a very typically that's a very popular spot. So let's zoom out again. Heart of London, we do search. So Deshum, uh, been here, love it, highly recommend it. As you can see, 19, over 1,900 people have gone, and the average ranking is over 400, or over four and a half stars, or it is four and a half stars. Uh, there's multiple locations. This is probably the most pop. This, I mean, this is the most popular one in Covent Garden, but they're both good. I think I've been to this one. It's amazing. But as you can see, the sketch, also very good. As you can see, these are very popular spots, and they're good. I would recommend all these spots. National Gallery, I don't really think that's a food spot, but maybe. Um, Hawksmoor Seven Dials, Flatiron. So you kind of get how this app works. Typically, these are all great spots. Another Dishoom location. Great as always. This is, you know, this is my go-to food app. Can't recommend it enough. If you're on the fly, wherever you're located, you're like, oh, I'm hungry now, just pop it out. Pop in, you know, restaurants or food or whatever you're looking for, and it'll pull up all the top restaurants in your in the area. Uh, it also give you the little price range, which is also huge. Uh, gives you, you know, like I said, reviewers. Uh, gives you the menu. Gives you pictures. I can't recommend this place enough. Another cool little thing that I want to uh, see if they showed in this one. Usually they just show it in the, the, the mobile app. I don't know if they showed it in the desktop app. Let's click into Shoom. Basically what I wanted to show you is, it's not listing, it's just listing reviews. Oh, maybe it's here. Let's click into this one. So it's not popping up on the desktop version, but usually on the phone application, It'll pull, pull up like the most popular dishes at the restaurant, which I think is amazing. You want to go somewhere, has great reviews, food looks amazing. You look at the menu and like, I have no idea what to get. Pop up, pop open the app, and it'll show you the most popular dishes based off reviews and number of reviews. I think that's amazing. How many times have you ever been to a restaurant and you're like, I have no idea what to get? So you ask the server, but can you always trust the server? Uh, not really sure. What you can do is you can pop up in the app, look at people who have been consumers like yourself, and see what they all like. I think that's a little bit more of an accurate depiction of what might be good and what might not be, and what you probably should get. Uh, so that pretty much takes care of the Yelp app. If anyone else has any other suggestions on how they better use better use the app, feel free to let me know. Open suggestions. One other thing I, I would recommend maybe doing is if you're going to London, type in food to try in London. So 15 foods you must try. Let's see what this comes up with. So yes, so this is gonna be like sp food specific to the area or region of the world that you're traveling to, food that you might not be used to. I like doing this, especially if I'm going abroad or even somewhere a different region of the country that I'm in, not familiar with, to see what they typically eat. So fish and chips is a must, the English breakfast, the afternoon tea, Sunday roast, uh, bangers and mash, you know, you know, pie and mash. Highly, highly recommend the meat pies. You know, to toad in the hole. It's a funny name. Indian food. Yeah, the shoom is really good. There's actually in London. There's a very good influx of Indian food, so I highly recommend Indian food when traveling to London. Cockles, uh, Scotch eggs. So you get the idea. What you can do now is if you find food on here that you're like, oh, I really want to try this, I've never had it before, type, go into here, right, and type in scotch eggs. And so if you want scotch eggs, you go to a place, you can find a place that has really good scotch eggs, so scotch tails, even advertising it, scotch, right, scotch eggs right here. Say you want to try no, what is it? Pie and mash. Let's try that. Pie and mash. 
we got Mother Mash. We got Kelly and Sons. We got Man. Let's let's try let's try Mother's Mash. Mother's Mash. Mother Mash. Jeez. Alrighty. So let's click into photos. So it kind of gives you a look. This looks pretty good. Some of the uh, the pie mashes that they have. Uh, so that's that's a good way. That's another great way to use the app. Is if you want to, if you're trying to find a different, you know, it's a specific type of food in an area, and you want to find a good restaurant that has it, just you know, find it on here, pie and mash, bangers and mash, and then type it in the little search bar over here. And it's gonna pop up all the top restaurants that have that dish. And then you can take it a step further, do a little additional research, look at the photos, and look at the reviews for those types of foods. So that pretty much covers everything I wanted to go over in this video. You know, I went over the Pinterest, it gives you an idea of different restaurants to try, you know, Google searching, foods to try when you go into an area, and then my favorite, you, the use of the Yelp app. You can use it on the fly in your lo locally, you can use it when you're traveling, use it whenever. It's never let me down, it's my most coveted food app out there. It's great on the mobile, can't recommend it enough. So that pretty much covers it, covers it for this video. Again, if you're looking at this video and you're like, Josh, I have a much better way of going about this, picking out my food spots, let me know. I'm more than happy to try it out. I'm more than happy to leave a comment on your, your, your idea. Uh, give you the credit. But if you like something, you found value out of this, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you liked. If you didn't like something, please let me know what you didn't like. I'll try to correct it in videos going forward. But as always, I appreciate all listening. Uh, I hope you found some value out of this. Have a good one.